I want you to think about the essence of what an off-road vehicle is, especially to the guys at Jeep. They had an opportunity to take one of their vehicles, cut it down, and make it into what I think is, and many of you will agree with me, an excellent off-road vehicle. This is the Shortcut Concept, and coming up next, I get to drive it. tell you um, it's hard picking a favorite so when I first got here there was no doubt it was gonna be the trail cap right 707 horsepower oh, yeah Jeep, I mean okay? come on and then you know I, I chatted and got to ride in the forward control Jeep that Mark Allen built yeah it's pretty cool isn't it that was pretty cool but as a real vehicle something I, I could actually own and drive every day uh -huh. this is gonna be it. you agree well, absolutely you know, I, I used to be one of those guys who wanted to slap on armor and turrets and sliders and this and that and everything else. And it would, you know, you make a Jeep weigh you know, 6,000 pounds. Yeah. Going the reverse direction gives you power to weight ratio, which is excellent. You really don't need to have too much crap on there. And this Jeep sort of represents that. This is one of my favorite Jeep Wranglers out of this entire event in terms of drivability. Yeah, it's basically shortened uh, JK that looks like an old CJ5. Yeah, it does. And you know, I like the look of the CJ5, but I've driven one before and I always felt they were a little tippy on the road. So you get the best of both worlds. You get this thing, it's plenty wide. Yeah, exactly. And at the same time, it really is very light. They also yanked the rear seat out of this thing. so. If you're at home and you're thinking, what can I do that makes my Jeep look custom, but, you know, is cost effective, I think something like this is a really good idea. Yeah, of course, you know, shortening a JK is not <laughs> it's something you're you can hoping. You cut off the front end of the you, you can mechanic is going to do it. No, they can totally do it. But, you, you know, guys can do it. But as a, as a Jeep that I would love to own and have in my garage, uh -huh. I think it would be this one. Just because it's so usable, right, and it's so, like, retro, and it's so much fun. Okay, so this is my favorite in terms of the ones that are on the car channel, but on the truck channel, we yep. are also covering these vehicles. And we have the three trucks that are at the event, including the forward control. But the one that I really liked, I mean, honestly, was that bizarre Comanche, which is based on the Renegade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that thing, I, I just, I, I had this gut feeling like, wow, it could really be something. Yeah, who knows? So you think, you think that they're gonna come out with a uh mini pickup truck with a mini diesel engine in it. You and I both agree that one of the things that's missing from the world of trucks and cars is a small, tiny little pickup truck. A mini truck. truck, yeah. A mini truck. Yeah. And that is, that qualifies in terms of its size, oh, its yeah. weight, and it had a little diesel in it, which was just great on these hills. I mean, this thing doesn't care, but that thing was struggling, but it was struggling like in an okay way. Like I could totally do it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just imagine having something like that. Ah, oh, it would be awesome. It's so rare to get these opportunities to drive these vehicles, and I gotta tell you, if you look at it, it really does remind people of a CJ5. Personally speaking, in terms of the overhangs and the way it's built and how light it is, what a fantastic idea. Now I have to figure out a way to beg Roman to get one of these into our studio. For the Fastlane Car, this is Nathan Adler. Don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news, views, real world reviews, and remember, it's Jeep Week. See ya. Yes, indeed, it's a Hemi, but it's more than that. It's a supercharged Hemi. It's more than that. It's a Hellcat Hemi. Well, a Trailcat Hemi in this case, and this is a JK with a 707 horsepower Hellcat engine stuffed under the hood. Only one thing to do right now, and that is take it for a ride. There we go. We got a little bit of uh, a little bit of workout, but I don't think it's gonna. Oh, it doesn't stress this at all. No, this this thing's got a ton of flex to it. Um, it's got about 14 inches of travel in the, front, in the rear and 10 inches in the front, so it flexes.